We hear a lot of talk these days about protecting our personal data. Well, in one controversial legal case, that data is very personal, taken from inside a man's own body. Ross Compton, an Ohio man, has been indicted on felony charges of aggravated arson and insurance fraud, and a key piece of evidence is data downloaded from his pacemaker, secured after detectives obtained a search warrant. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman has been following the case closely and joins us to talk about the issues raised and the implications for us all. Ricky, let's just talk about the case generally. What are the basic details? Mr. Compton says he was asleep and then somehow he learned of the fire and in that time he very quickly packed his belongings, took his cane, pushed through a window, threw out the belongings, got out of the house, grabbed the belongings, loaded them in the car. Okay, so Ricky, how were the police able to obtain a warrant for the evidence from his pacemaker? Well, what he told the police apparently was very inconsistent with someone who has a pacemaker. Mm. And you had some very smart law enforcement work that since he told the police he had a pacemaker, or an artificial heart, that they decided to get the data and have it analyzed by an expert. Mm -hmm. So when you analyze data from a pacemaker, you're looking at cardiac rhythms, you're looking at the heart rate, you're looking at how the pacemaker's working. And what it showed was the story he gave did not mesh with what the electronic device was saying. Based on the cardiac sort of output. Correct. Fascinating. It is fascinating. This is relatively new using devices like this, correct? And isn't it somewhat challenging in, in the fact that, I mean, how reliable is this information in a device like this? Well, one of the things we have to look at is in any case, how do we test the truth? The truth is tested by the great engine. It's called cross-examination. In scientific evidence, it's tested by a battle of experts. If you had an eyewitness who said he or she sh saw something, you would test if they could see it. Here what you've got is an evolution. At one time we seized someone's papers, mm -hmm. then later on we seized their computer or their mobile device or their, uh, their iPad or their smartphone. At once upon a time we seized blood and could analyze it by blood groupings. Then we have DNA. What could be more invasive than DNA yeah. in terms of a person's privacy? So you don't think this is going to run afoul of privacy laws in the United States? In fact, I know it's not going to run afoul of privacy laws because when you look at the HIPAA law, HIPAA must, by its own terms, says that the privacy interest, that precious interest a person has in their own health and medical information must give way to a judicial order. This information was received by law enforcement because they got a warrant. Could they have just taken it? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Do you go before a magistrate? Do you get an independent look-see at what the evidence is as to why you would need someone's very precious health care information? Mm -hmm. What's interesting here, though, I mean, it, it, you have another case in Arkansas, for example, when they're when they're 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 going after audio recordings made from an Amazon Echo device. I mean, we're looking at sort of a new frontier here, aren't we? We are talking about a new frontier. Um, I think that uh, one of the other cases, in addition to the Amazon Echo, was there was a sexual assault case in Pennsylvania. The alleged victim was wearing a Fitbit. And what happened was when they analyzed her Fitbit, which had fallen off during this so-called altercation, they found out that her Fitbit evidence showed that she was not doing what she said she was. Wow. Doing. So with the uh, with the Amazon Echo, which is all also known as Alexa, or with other competitive devices like Google is having, the thing in Arkansas, which does start to even make me, who is a great public safety advocate, mm -hmm. say, well, let's wait a minute. Can Alexa really hear everything that's right, going on right. in my the bedroom? Right, the question of reliability. That, well, reliability does become a big factor. And when you go back to this case in medical devices, how do we know that the device has not been tampered with? That's, again, when you get to the experts. Let alone, we should not finish without thinking about, with all this advent of medical devices and law enforcement's legitimate interests, mm -hmm. what about hackers' of illegitimate sure. interests? Ricky Kleeman, it is a brave new world. Thanks for your time. Always good to see you.